Instagram addiction, destroying lives, and causing huge debt. Instagram is like an addictive drug. The average user spends over an hour every day on the platform. It makes you feel unworthy as you compare yourself to people that are seemingly living better lives. You buy more than you should. You travel to places you cannot afford, and accumulate debt that makes you feel even worse. Just to keep up with peers, Instagram causes you to sleep less, have more anxiety, and causes depression. In a survey of 1,500 people aged 16 to 24. The Royal Society for Public Health showed that Instagram is the worst platform for addiction and mental health. Even the most impressionable kids, as young as eight years old, are being impacted negatively by the social media giant. In an exclusive interview with four girls aged ten. We learned how they feel Instagram has affected their lives. Depression, anxiety skyrocket, while confidence is shattered. If you think I'm being over the top, think again. The statistics are devastating and show the young generation is suffering most. Ninety-one percent of youth, aged sixteen to twenty-four. Are using social media, and the rates of anxiety and depression among them have risen 70 percent in the last 20 years, as high as 90 percent of 16 to 24 year old girls are unhappy with their bodies, and 70 percent would consider having invasive surgery to correct what they believe is wrong. It is not just the young crowd being affected, according to a new Manual Life survey, which came out in July. Canadian millennials struggle with debt largely because they are trying to keep up an Instagram-worthy lifestyle. One Instagram influencer, Lizetta Calvario, told Global News in an interview that she racked up. Ten thousand dollars in credit card debt, trying to keep up on social media. She saw other influencers and bloggers traveling across the globe and showing off the newest styles. So she began doing the same. Manual Life Bank CEO Rick Lunny told Global News he sees a direct link between indebted. Millennials and their social media use, particularly among millennial age Canadians, I would say everybody lives a perfect life on Instagram. Everyone looks at everyone else's social feeds and sees their vacations and their celebrations and their concerts. And so they really have this fear of missing out, and it's obviously contributing to their overall ability to manage their cash flows. Manu Life Bank CEO Rick Lunny, financial advisor Chanon Simons, told Global News, "In the last five years, people feel broke more often." Because social media makes it feel like everyone else is doing something not worthy or beautiful or fun, and you're not. Instagram is cool with even very young users. The most vulnerable are on Instagram years before the minimum age requirements set by the platform. In an exclusive interview, Travel Off Path sat down with four girls aged ten to ask what they thought about Instagram. They will remain anonymous to protect their 
identity. They all said their reason for being on Instagram was because it was cool. Either they all their siblings had it, or their friends had accounts, so they didn't want to be left out. All of them spent a minimum of and one hour a day on social media and up to four hours a day on the weekends. For parents out there that do not allow their kids to have Instagram or a phone, the kids have ways around it. When asking the four girls how many of their friends had Instagram, three of them answered all of them, and another said she knew of a few in her class who haven't. The girls have all had their accounts for. Over a year already. When I ask how kids go on Instagram without their parents' permission, the answers were simple. They use it at friends' houses or even at school, and some have found ways to hide it on their tablets. When I inquired. How they got around Instagram's minimum age policy of 13 for signing up? They explain that is an easy one. You just lie, and it's not like they make you prove it.